Hi guys, it's Alec here and today we're going to touch on the Z contrast entry in cash books when you process in Pastel Partner, Pastel Express or Sage 50 Cloud. So the Z contrast is quite an interesting and unique entry into your general ledger and ultimately I think I don't like debating about you know systems so much as I love looking at the accounting and the debits and credit that happens in any accounting system. All right, so let me show you a, um, a way that your standard pastel is set up and how it actually processes entries into your general ledger. So let's, on the side here, just start and say, these are the T accounts. Okay, so I love T accounts, and I think most accounts will tell you that's just beautiful if you start drawing out T accounts. Okay, so we're going to have them on the side here, and these are you know, uh, five different accounts that we're going to set up now. And on the left here, this is the entry that we're going to put into our cash book. Okay, so let me just quickly zoom in here and show you what we've done. Okay, so we've done a cash book payment out of cash book one in a pastel environment. And there are three lines that we've captured here. We haven't yet updated it, but this is what's going to happen. I'm going to show you what's going to happen once we hit update batch okay but i'm going to show you that obviously visually <laughs> um all right so first line is just on the first of september we've we, we, we've done an entry to the general ledger on account number 2001 and there's the reference and there's the actual description and there we've done an entry on the third of september okay to account 3200 and on the and the 10th of september the third line going to this gl 4400 but also please note that the tax only tax has been entered vat on the line number one and two and nothing on line number three right so what happens now okay so let's move this slightly up and now here are our entries so what happens line one two and three and the standard setup in pastel this is what happens okay so firstly once you hit update this is going to debit your accounts the first line is going to debit account number 2001 and this is going to be the entry on the 1st of September with a reference PMT triple double zero double zero one and that's the description as you've loaded it over there okay I see the dash I haven't put in here but okay just bear with me it's actually dashes that's going to come through um, and 10,000 obviously the excluding amount then the second one is going to come in 100 on the third and that's going to say PMT and 100 Rand which is the excluding amount there and then the third entry is going to hit this account on the debit side. What happens on the credit side? Okay, so let's have a look here. You're going to credit your cash book with this amount. Okay, so this is quite interesting. Just have a look here. Um, your, your entry comes in as a Z contrast and a CB1 payment. And that's the full gross amount that goes out of your cash book. So that's quite interesting because look at it, it's just one date, the last date of this entry, and it's got a Z contrast. And it's quite difficult to link up to these if you've got multiple payments going out of multiple cash books over you know, a year. <laughs> it's very difficult to start matching up these. Then the other debit, obviously to balance this whole transaction, is the tax entry. Also quite a difficult little... Uh, little entry a Z contrast and Z contrast tax entry. That's the in, you know that's the description. I imagine you've got you know three or four payments that have happened over different cash books on the same day hitting this account. It's quite difficult to try and manage and understand which of these entries now have tax on it. All right, so there we've got the standard method of um, the T account. All right, so let me show you the second. Uh, method and firstly let's pop over to a pastel and once you go into your setup and you go into your entry types you can go and switch on this thing called contra and detail all right so contra and detail what does that do let me show you okay so i'm going to go over to this environment it's the same thing all right but we are now going to switch on this e type setup contra and detail we're going to tick that on and now you've got more entries going to it's going to come into your book so the first entries are going to be the same the debits that's going to come into your expense accounts. They are, you know, very stock standard and simple to follow. The entries on your um, on your tax side of it, they are now going to also be date related, first of all, which is quite nice. Um, so you've got a tax entry coming in and check that it's 1500. Uh, you've got a second entry coming in 
on the third, which is going to be the 15 Rand, 15 Rand over here. Okay, so that relates to the second line. The third line obviously has, has nothing on it, so there's going to be nothing on that entry. So now already you've got a split here, and look there, it's actually going to include a reference in the description it's come it doesn't it's not in the reference field is actually z contrast still but the reference itself the description is going to carry a reference so there's a linking between it and then on the other side to balance this transaction look at this it's going to be three entries date specific and with a reference no longer a z contrast reference but a nice reference payment one payment two and payment three so now, if you look at this entry, you obviously have an easier way to link it up. There's a link between your payment one and payment payment one on the expense size. You can actually now link it up in an easier way. So why is the standard setup done this way in Pastel? Well, my opinion is that uh, your PSQL database was something that people always wanted to, well, I think the, the, the developers actually wanted to keep as small as possible. And that's why they have got a standard setup to say, well, keep as few entries in these control accounts as possible with the detail coming through on the expense side, because you can imagine where we had um, on the first we had one, two, three, four, five entries coming into our full GL. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just more entries. And that'll obviously duplicate the more cash book transactions you have if you've got the detail on. All right. So there you go. Um, just some of the things that we do in my BI. If you've got this set up, which most people do have, my VAT is the app that helps you to automatically link up and connect the split between where tax was processed so it'll automatically show you how your vat was actually processed so i'm gonna take this little connector over here and i'll show you okay well how much was actually can uh, uh, um, issued um, and raised or claimed from the ten thousand, and it will also do the same for you to say how much was claimed from the 100 Rand over here. So that's automatically done through my VAT. So you can easily reconcile up to transaction level, even if you've got this set up. And uh, the cash flow again on the My BI app side, and that was my VAT first, my BI side, the cash flow will show you all of these transactions over here in detail, whilst the cash book analysis in my, uh, my, my BI will show you those entries. All right, so I hope you found this valuable and uh, also have learned something as to how you can maybe make those transactions a little bit more logical and easier to connect when you set up your pastel. All right, have a great day, guys. Bye.